And then once you start drawing on a large screen, it's easy to get spoiled and to think that you need this all the time, which you don't, but there are benefits. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. This is the biggest tablet I've ever unboxed. All right, so I have here the Huion Canvas. GT191. Now I've never used a Huion tablet before but they were kind enough to send this one to me free of charge so that I can unbox it and review it for you. Of course they did say that I can say anything I want in this review, which I will do. This is a 19 and a half inch drawing monitor. So you draw directly on the screen. There are cheaper tablets that you can buy where you draw on a screenless tablet and you look up at your monitor. But this one you actually draw directly on the screen which is great if you're coming from analog drawing and you want to be able to draw directly on the screen. Those of you who follow this channel will know that I already do other reviews for things like iPad Pro and also what is I gonna get this over here? This is my Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. And one of the main features that they were saying selling on the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro is that this has a, a pen which is 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. Whether that makes a huge amount of difference I don't know, but Huion the company that is pretty much taking down Wacom by selling very similar stuff but at a much cheaper price. They are saying that this 19 and a half inch tablet also has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. I don't know any humans that know how to measure whether that's actually true or not, but something that we can test is how low the initial activation force is on this pen, and that's just a fancy way of saying how much pressure do you have to push to make your initial mark with a, a standard pencil. Where's my pencil? Here we go. With a standard pencil like this, you would just leave, rest it very lightly on the paper and it would make a mark. But, on a lot of tablets, you have to push quite hard to make that initial marking. For now, let's open this box and see how it looks. Alright, so something I'm particularly excited about on this tablet is the fact that it's 19.5 inches diagonally, and I've never had a drawing tablet that big before. The largest tablet I've ever had was this. This is the 4x3 iPad Pro 12.9 inch device, and the Mo Mobile Studio Pro, just for comparison's sake, to show you, this, this is how big a 13 inch drawing tablet is, so it's going to be significantly larger than this and that's very exciting for me because then I can draw with a really large canvas and be able to rotate the screen. That may not sound very important but usually when you have a page like this, once you rotate it the corners run off the side of the screen and you can't see a lot of the things that you're drawing. Whereas with a large screen like this you could have the whole page still A4 size, rotate it and still see the whole image. It's got the same picture on both sides and specifications wise it says that there's a pen, there's a display and power stuff on the inside, so let's just go ahead and open it up. I'm just gonna pull on these tabs here. And it's got a really nice carrying case, which is which is great. What's this? <laughs> you get a little greeting. It's in Japanese this time, but I'm pretty sure when they sell it in the West it'll be in English. Arigatou gozaimasu. Well, thank you very much. Let's pull this out of here. This does not look like the tablet. This is probably power cables and stuff. Wow, there's all sorts of stuff in here. I don't know how much of this we're gonna need. Pull this all out of here. It's cool stuff that you will, will have a quick look at later. Stuff like this. This is the actual pen holder, I believe. I hope I haven't thrown the pen away yet. Where's the tablet? I just want to see the tablet. Come on. Looks like we're gonna have to stand up for this one. Okay. Oh dear. Let's just make sure I don't damage the screen. Okay. So this is it. 19.5 inches. It's in like a Ziploc. This is exciting. Wow! Never opened a monitor in a Ziploc. Check this out, guys. 19.5 inches of drawing pleasure. Now, actually, it looks like there's a little stand in here, which I think we can attach to the actual thing. Woo! <laughs> and a CD. Oops! Now this is exciting. Some companies are not giving stands away with their tablets nowadays, so it's nice to see that this company still gives you a stand. Dig, dig, dig. How does this work? Maybe I shouldn't have thrown the instructions away. Oh, hey! Now that's exciting. Looks like one of those exercise machines. So this is clearly going to stick on the back of the screen. Let's find out how that happens. Now I think that's what these screws are for. I've just realized that this screwdriver came inside the box. I just want to use this tablet. I don't want to be screwing things anymore. That's what she said. All right. Ha ha ha. TV. Now, actually, 
I have to say that selfishly, another thing that I'm really excited about is just using this for gaming. You can just peel this off. This is just for protection before you use it. I've got a lot of stuff of electricity now. I need something metal to touch. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. This is nothing to do with drawing, but I'm really excited about Wow! Now, even if you don't draw, I would highly recommend getting a monitor like this, about this size, and just, just putting it right in front of your gaming pad, because then you can feel like you're right there at the arcades with a giant widescreen in front of you. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I'll try that later, though. Okay, I've got the monitor set up now, and all I need to do is plug in my MacBook, or you can plug in a PC as well, anything that has an HDMI output. You do get the AC power adapter. It is a 12 volt, 3 amp power adapter. Also comes with a mains cable so that you can plug this into the wall. Now I'm in Japan, so the version I've got is the American style plug, but I'm pretty sure that for the UK and the EU, they'll give you the cable that you need. Even if not, you'll have this kettle lead that you can buy from pretty much any hardware store. Now where does this go? Now let's check out the pen. I assume that the pen is in this box. Okay, so inside this box you get the pen. <laughs> Looks like a fish. Here's a close-up of the Huion pen. Looks a lot like what you might get with a standard Wacom tablet. And it has got a retractable tip, so it's not like the Apple Pencil, which is a very hard stop. This actually has a slightly springy tip. Oh, and two buttons here. So this is the pen and the pen holder. Put that in there. What's this? <laughs> no way. <laughs> you get a glove. Oh wow, that is funny looking. My hand feels exposed. So I've got two cables here. One of them is USB-A to USB-B. So this is just a standard USB cable. I imagine we'll be using this to plug this into the computer. And this looks like a DC charging cable. I'm pretty sure this is for charging the pen. So yeah, it looks like you just plug this into the back of the pen and just leave it like so. It does look a bit funny, but I guess the benefit is that you don't have to pull the whole thing open to change the battery, you just charge it. And what's this? HDMI cable. All right, so we're gonna need this to actually plug this into the computer. So we only need two cables to plug this into the computer. And last but not least, you get a little cloth. I guess they provide this for people who need to clean their glasses like I do, because my glasses are always dirty in these videos. Ah, <sighs> thanks Huion for taking care of your users with glasses. All right, so USB, HDMI. Just for the curious among you, I'll just point out that there is also VGA and DVI input for this screen. Alright, so I've got my Mac. That is absolutely huge. This is absolutely ridiculous. I am kind of scared. Hold on a second. <gasps> it works! Okay. I have never had a screen this huge before. Glass is moderately thick. This is not going to be the same performance that you get from the iPad or a screen which is really closely bonded to the touch layer. Okay, okay, we got lines, we got lines, we got pressure sensitivity, ha <laughs> ha! Now this is exciting. Now if I just have it very gently on the screen, so I don't know how many grams of force it is, but you can, you can draw very, very lightly. Oh wow, this is so exciting. I've never had a screen this big before. Oh man, I'm freaking out. Okay, we've got it all plugged into the Mac now. We're running on battery power on the Mac right now. But we've got the screen plugged in, the Huion GT191. I'm ready to draw. So let's go into stylus pen. Oh, okay, okay, in case you want to test test whether your pressure sensitivity is not working or not. Not working or, or, or is working, anyway. The reason you have to do this is so that the it knows where your general head position is. Let's just get this down to a better angle. It goes down pretty far. Let's bring it up a bit further. Well, it's like, it's like perfectly, perfectly upright. Is that necessary? I'm gonna have it about this height and now. Let's just draw a quick picture now. Let's see. Clip studio, clip studio. Nah, I want to do it at three quarters view. Reminds me a lot of my first Cintiq. I had the Cintiq 13 HD reminds me a lot of using that. Obviously, feature-wise, this is not really the same as a Mobile Studio Pro, but one of the benefits is that you'll be able to really get a good picture of what you're drawing because you've got such a large screen, you really don't ever have to zoom in. Drawing on such a large screen is so luxurious. 
I'm spoiled. The thing with large screens is that if you're used to a, a small screen, you don't really know what you're missing out on, and then once you start drawing on a large screen, it's easy to get spoiled and to think that you need this all the time, which you don't. You don't need a large screen all the time, but there are benefits. All right, I'm finally gonna zoom in a little bit so I can get close up on the mouth here. I think that's gonna have to do for now. I wasn't actually planning on drawing this much. I just wanted to do a quick pencil sketch and it clearly does work just fine. Wow, the thing is about drawing is that you really get hooked. Like once you start drawing, especially if you draw the eyes first, you kind of want to meet the character. This might work the opposite way for other people. But personally, like once I've drawn the eyes of the character, it's like, I want to meet that person, and so I end up drawing it till the end. I, I don't have time to finish this off and paint it or anything, but just wanted to show you that this is the Canvas GT191 by Huion, and I'll probably be doing a full review in the future, but man, first impressions are wow, it's so nice to have such a huge screen and to not have to be in there all the time. I can be kind of, I mean, I don't know how much I was hunching over just now, but you, you, if you feel like you own a canvas and I think that's why they've called it the canvas. Anyway, I found it very luxurious to use. If you've ever used a Cintiq, then you know exactly what to expect. Let me just sign my name on here. Nihongo Gamer. So anyway, not a full review just yet, but I just wanted to show you that clearly it does work and it's good fun. I love drawing, man, this is so much fun. Anyway, I wish I'd had something like this when I was first getting into drawing because, I mean, I, although it's not exactly like drawing by pencil, I bought a Cintiq and it, it cost double the amount of this and it was half the size of this. And man, if you are drawing full page comics, like you could have a couple pages on here at the same time and read it full size and know exactly what it's gonna look like when you print it. Man, I wish I'd had something like this when I was when I was a kid. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video or the review for this when eventually I've had time to actually use it and figure out how much I like it. I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video. Goodbye.